seconds of it, maybe. That's probably more than I've watched, but I really don't know anything about it. But how does that speak to the camaraderie of the players this year, just being able to go goof off and have fun after, yeah. after practice in the locker room? I think they like each other. I mean, I think as, as a group, I mean, obviously you probably have some that probably don't, but I think as a group, I think they like each other. I mean, that needs to be a safe haven for them down there. I think Coach Oberson's done a good job of that, and obviously that video shows it. Could you have anticipated this kind of season from Kevin? Uh, yeah, I mean, we knew the talent of the kid. Just, just we just knew it. I think the chemistry between the group has gotten better, but Kevin's been talented. It just needed to connect between his ears, in my opinion. He needed to believe it in himself. But, yeah, I mean, I, I expected him to have a big year. How, how early on did you, were you able to see a difference? The first time I went to his home visit. You talking about when did I think he was going to be a good player? No, this this season. How early uh, on was spring? Yeah, I mean, the kid's been making plays, you know, all through every time of practice. So, I mean, just taking that to the game situation was the biggest deal for him. What did happen? Yeah. I thought he was asking me when did I think yeah, he was going to be. A, I mean, hell, he's a good-looking kid, you know. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> good family. I mean, it's, you know, it was pretty easy to see that you wanted him, so. You break down the film against Texas Tech. What are they bringing in terms of, of blitz packages? What's something that sticks out in that aspect to you? They really haven't blitzed a whole lot. Um, I think since the changes, they've they've tried to settle on, you know, getting their best players close to the ball, and so there's been some some changes personnel-wise for those guys, trying to probably create a little more pass rush with not blitzing. I, that's what I see, and so. I just think the overall effort of those guys rushing the passer is, is, is better now. It's tough to tell after two games, but are those players starting to settle into their spots at this point? I guys think they've so. I, mean, I, I would they, They've simplified it from what it looks like, but I would expect that to get a little more complex as the week goes. But the more they play, the more they're going to get better. I mean, so I mean, I would expect them to play extremely hard at home against us. Talk about your offensive line, and obviously Dana. Dana had a lot of good things to say, naming Mark and Quentin yeah. players of the week. Just what you've seen out of them, and, and the progress they've made. I think they've been extremely consistent week in and week out this year. I think uh, last week, you know, obviously was a game that we felt we needed to run the ball versus the way they they played defensively, and so I think they obviously took the challenge. They were extremely physical that game. And so we need to keep challenging them to, to be that way. They've been playing well, but I don't think that they've played at that, at that level. Shell said that he feels like he's just scratching the surface, getting 100 yards was nice. Who's that, Shell? Uh, Shell. That keep, hey, keep yeah, talking about that and, and what, what you've seen out of him. And I mean, is, is that what you expect from him on a, on a weekly basis? Um, I mean, we expect, again, I mean, we're going to take what the defense gives us. So, I mean, or are we going to hand it to him 20-something times a game? Heck, I don't know, man. You never know until the game unfolds. But we we wanted to get him out in space a little more. So we did a few things with the run game that we thought would help us create some more seams, you know, bigger seams for him to run through. And so, obviously, getting him in the open space, not only him, but all the running backs with a little more, you know, we, we were stressing getting some explosive plays out of those guys. We were running the ball efficiently. We just wasn't getting the chunks that we wanted. So last week, even though they stacked the box on us, we felt like we had a pretty good scheme as far as getting those guys onto safeties and on the corners at times. And so then you got to just make somebody miss, you know, run them over or make them miss.